Hi, this is Jack Wood from Planet Eclipse, and we're just going to have a quick run through of the new EMC kit for the Planet Eclipse Ether. I've got a pre production kit here, um, everything in it is production ready, just the packaging is not completely finished, it's not printed box, but everything inside it is as it will be coming. So, pulling out from the top, got an instruction sheet that tells you exactly how to fit it. Come on down there. Got several small packages, uh, we've got little levers. Got eye cover, another eye cover, baggie of screws and an O-ring. We have got a stock plug on half of the stock fitment kit and the other half of the stock fitment kit. And then inside the bubble wrap, we've got two shells themselves. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause for a second while I just take all this out of the packaging and then we'll go through fitting it onto an actual ether and see how simple it is and some of the features of it. So, back in a second. Right, so here we go, got all the parts on package now. Uh, got all the screws, uh, no ring which I'll explain for what that's for later. A little bit is taking them out of the bag and over here I've got an ether and a stock which I'll also show, also show you what I'm going to do with that later. First of all, just pull off the barrel, makes it a bit easier. And then some of the parts that need taking off before we start assembly is easy. It doesn't have to be done at the start, but it's a bit easier if we do it now. Standard eye covers can come off. Just keep hold of the screws and the eye covers can just go to one side. And then you'll see that the kit, very straightforward in how it clamps onto the body. One half goes onto one side, one half goes onto the other side, clips together with little lugs and then you'll see that they're just um, several screws around the perimeter and they clamp up the shell and hold everything together. Uh, before you actually fasten those in though, one little piece that does need to go in is the little lever clip which is for holding the plug in place and also for when you remove the plug and you fit the stock which I'll show you again in a second. So if you just want to hold on for a second I'll just screw these bits up together and then we'll go through uh, attaching the final few pieces. Okay so there you go, I've put in the um, 10 perimeter screws, not forgetting the catch. The screws use a 564 driver, uh, just 10 hex head screws go in there. Um, the little clip at the back, first few times you open and close it, it will be quite tight, so I just use the end of the driver just to flick it open. Um, and we'll go through exactly what that does in a second. The other final few parts can go on now, so we've got two eye covers. Obviously before you place the eye covers on, make sure that you've got um, the actual breech sensor is placed correctly and that the ball detent is placed correctly. I'll clip that down, drop the eye cover on uses the same screws as the standard eye cover so no need for any special screws there again check on the other side detents in and the eye is in place put that down and then here we go with the standard uh, rear plug that just fits into the back of the body that clip shut and that's kept tight in place then that's if you don't want to run any kind of stock system on the back you just want to run a standard tank running off the ASA if you do want to go remote though, you just flick open that, hook something inside the plug and ease that out. Then you have these other two pieces which are a stock adapter. All you do is you'll see that on the um, on this type of stock there's a little bar on one side, not on the other. And these actual clips will go one way around, lock onto there, onto that side, the other piece. And then we we'll just include the o-ring, just wrap around there, and that just keeps the whole thing locked together so it doesn't fall off when you pull the stock out. And all you do that is make sure the latch is up uh, in the raised position and slide in stock piece, clip clip, and there's your stock in place there. So quite a sturdy affair, it does depend on the, on the type of stock, we find there's quite a big uh, difference in from manufacturer stock to stock but they all do seem to fit very well. The advantage of this system is if you do ever need to pull the bolt out, 
just undo the latch, pull the stock or the plug out of the back and you still have full access to the bolt system using hex key, standard length hex key will actually fit down here undo the hex key and your whole bolt assembly slide out in one go slide that back in after you've cleaned, lubed, or done whatever you need to do to that slide it back in, tighten that back down obviously the same goes for the eyes, detents uh, they can all be accessed without taking the shell off Barrel screws in, take different length barrels. Um, we actually have an apex adapter for the shaft barrel as well now, which I'll show you in a second. But that, in principle, is the basic EMC kit. In true, here's one I made earlier fashion. This is one that has been made up for display for this uh, weekend's big game event. You'll see I took the stock off this, get onto the other gun. It just fits in there, clips up, and you now have a fully laden piece of machinery ready to go. Um, got various things mounted onto this one. Obviously got a, a side rail here, 45 degree rail fitted on this side, red dot, laser and torch at the front, got some protective pieces on the rails, got some additional pieces on the top and sides here, uh, bipod, the stock, and here's the uh, apex adapter tip for the shaft barrel I was talking about earlier. So there you go, so it gives you some kind of idea how you can set your EMC kit up on your ether, I hope you like it.